Hello everyone. Welcome to session five of security testing video series. In this session, I am going to explain the difference between security testing, vulnerability assessment, and penetration testing. So they are kind of very close terms guys. Security testing, vulnerability assessment, and penetration testing are often used in the security testing. But what is the difference between them? What is the difference between these uh, three terms that is security testing, vulnerability assessment, and penetration testing that we generally use while performing security testing? Let me explain in a detailed manner, guys. This is very important to understand the difference. So I am explaining in this session. Fine. First thing is, we generally speak about doing security testing. Security testing consists of or comprises of both the types. That is one is vulnerability assessment. As part of your security testing day-to-day -day jobs, we do either vulnerability ass assessment or we do penetration testing. Fine. So security testing comprises of both vulnerability assessment and penetration testing. If you are a security tester, as your day-to-day -day job, you may either perform vulnerability assessment or you may perform penetration testing. Now, what exactly is vulnerability assessment and what exactly is penetration testing? Let me explain, guys. Coming to the vulnerability assessment here guys we identify the security loopholes okay as part of vulnerability assessment we identify the security loopholes that is nothing but security loophole means what guys vulnerability right vulnerability latest you can say this Security loopholes means vulnerabilities. As part of vulnerability assessment, we assess the application, okay? The client has given some application for security testing. And as part of vulnerability assessment, we assess such application with an intention of identifying the security loopholes in that application. That is uh, security loopholes or vulnerabilities in the application we'll identify as part of vulnerability assessment. That's clear. But what about penetration testing? In case of penetration testing, guys, we not only identify the security loopholes, but okay, we will simulate the hacker activities. So simple thing is like we'll get into the shoes of hackers for a while. Okay. We simulate the hacker activities by getting into the shoes of a hacker. What hacker does, guys? He will try to you will try to either uh, hack or breach or intrude, right? This is what hacker does, right? So whatever the actions that are generally performed by the hacker, that will perform as a security tester, guys, in case of penetration testing. Penetration testing means not just identifying the security loopholes, but also will get into the shoes of the hacker by performing the or by simulating the hacker activities. Why we are doing this? Why we are behaving like a hacker in case of penetration testing? The reason here is we utilize this security, identify security loopholes with an intention of checking or proving. Okay, checking or proving to see to what extent, okay, to what extent this security loophole, to what extent this, uh, security loophole is causing the damage okay to what extent the security loophole is causing the damage or posing risk to the application or system that we are testing so hope you identified guys okay hope you understood like what exactly is vulnerability ass assessment in, in case of vulnerability assessment we only identify the security loopholes in the application that we are testing Okay, we only identify the vulnerabilities, but we don't utilize the vulnerabilities, fine? We don't take advantage of the vulnerabilities. But in case of penetration testing, 
we not only identify the security loopholes but also utilize this vulnerability identified vulnerabilities by intruding or breaching or hacking the application that is given for testing with an intention of checking or proving to someone to what extent this particular vulnerability or security loophole is causing the damage or risk with an intention of finding out this part guys okay with an intention of checking how much damage it is causing to the application we are testing or how much uh, uh, risk it is uh, posing uh, how much risk it is posing to the application we are testing for that reason only we'll do penetration testing by behaving like a hacker by get, getting into the hacker shoes so hope you understood now guys uh, what is secure testing secure testing consists of both vulnerability assessment and penetration testing both this vulnerability and penetration are part of the secure testing but uh, while you are really performing security testing we'll get into the specialized terms like vulnerability assessment or penetration testing based on the type of security testing that we are performing on the given application and one more important point guys now you understood the difference between secure testing vulnerability and penetration right now this is the thing you need to understand so in our day to day job while we are performing security testing okay we should not perform we should not perform penetration testing until the client insists you to do so okay in some cases guys we also get a kind of written kind of agreement signed agreement from the client that he is okay for us to perform the penetration testing because here we are we will be we are going to behave like a hacker right that will damage the system for sure so before doing that we uh, uh, some cases we will get the agreement okay uh, signed by the client saying that uh, we are going to perform the penetration testing and you are okay with that kind of thing and also we should not perform this penetration testing in our job as it is like even though the client has given you the permissions to perform the security testing so we should not take it for granted that we are allowed to do the penetration testing on the application this is not the right way guys so we should definitely consult with the client inform him that uh, we are going to perform the penetration testing and if he gives the permission only then we have to do otherwise we should not do by default we generally perform vulnerability assessment guys until client insists to do penetration testing then then only we'll do the penetration testing otherwise we'll only perform the vulnerability assessment so next thing sometimes what happens is client may not have the enough knowledge to decide what he wants he simply ask you to do the secure testing but he don't know the real knowledge or he don't know what exactly happens when you perform vulnerability assessment or penetration testing so in that case guys whether the client knows or not it's our duty to educate the client it's our duty to duty to educate the client what exactly is vulnerability assessment what exactly is penetration testing and what uh, kind of uh, problems uh, it will do in case of penetration testing like we have to say that we will behave like hacker and we'll intrude we'll make the system down all those stuff okay like that kind of thing and we need to educate the client in this uh, aspects and if the client is really understood like what exactly is vulnerability and penetration testing and if he really accepts that uh, you have to do the penetration testing also then only you will perform penetration testing guys otherwise you will not perform here client has to approve right and also sometimes client is not educated uh, uh, or he doesn't have enough knowledge of what exactly is vulnerability assessment or penetration testing as part of security testing you need to educate them well before you do it okay so hope guys you understood the difference between secure testing vulnerability assessment and penetration testing and also you understood what kind of uh, what kind of measures you have to take before performing the penetration testing and by taking some enough permission or educating the client so this is all about this session guys see you in the next session thank you bye